hey fam we're about to get into this unit yes honey look at this wig like wig where i'm saying so if you want to see how i installed this wig where i got it from and how i installed it without using glue then you better stay tuned and keep on watching Hey fam, the word of encouragement for today is, Lord, help me listen and know that I am loved, that I am perfectly made, that I am accepted as I am in you, in Jesus' name. What's up fam? It's your girl Sharina Nicole and I am back with another wig review. Yes honey, this braided unit or wig, however you want to call it, is poppin' and it smells good. <laughs> Just to me though, I don't know, it could be me. But we're gonna jump right in and get it to this unit. It comes with um, a little card that says, you know, they're like the number one stunners in the wig game. So yes honey, I got this wig on Amazon. Um, I will leave the links down below. I absolutely love it. And your girl said, I'm going to get this wig on, okay, without using glue. So make sure you keep watching to see how this goes, honey. <laughs> but I absolutely love that it comes with the elastic band. You've also got the combs for more security, which I like. And right here, I'm just cutting that lace off on the back of the wig because we don't need that, honey. Not unless you're going to pick your hair up because I'm not. <laughs> But right here, I was just putting it on to see how it looked, and I absolutely loved it just like that. <laughs> so you might even get away with wearing it just as a ponytail, but let's go ahead and jump right in. So this time, fam, I definitely remembered to put the comb in the back of my head. <laughs> and right here, I'm just showing you how it's looking. It's looking a little ashy. She's definitely giving ashy, um, but we're going to fix that, honey. We're going to fix that. So I was trying to figure out what was going on there and then I realized there is actually a cap with lining. So I went ahead in and put some makeup in there and then I noticed it was still on the out perimeter, the outside perimeter of the wig. So then I applied my makeup all around the perimeter to get that nice and brown. You see that ash? Do you see that ashy tone? <laughs> So I know you guys have probably seen a ton of videos on how to cut your lace, so I'm going to just make it brief. I just sped this up just to show you how I cut the lace off of my wig. I just go straight around. Ain't got no time for all that zigzag stuff. We just going to do it how we do. And once you're finished with that, just throw that away, honey, because you sure don't need that. So let's go ahead and put this wig back on. But this wig is super heavy. Like, when it came out the packaging, I don't know if y'all noticed, I was like, oh, this is heavy. Like, <laughs> if you could read my lips. But, um, yeah, it is really heavy. So that's a good weighted wig. I love that. Um, it could slide off if you don't secure this down. So that's what you see me doing right here. I'm putting the combs in place because I like the combs for added security. So right there, I was just checking the sideburns because I really needed to see what I wanted to do with this unit. Like, this is a first time for me having like a full braided wig. And I was like, yeah, we gonna give this a go. So I said, okay, always do your sideburns because that is what I did, honey. I pulled out that got to be and I was like, okay, let's get it in. <laughs> So right here, we're just doing my sideburns. And I'm gonna show you how this all plays in to not having to glue this unit down because it was absolutely brilliant. So I was like, yes, this is gonna work. <laughs> and I'm so thankful and happy that it did work because <laughs> now you guys have a new method on how to lay this down if you don't wanna be bothered with that whole perimeter gluing thing and you know all that stuff like nobody wants to be bothered with that so what you want to do is you just slick your sideburns down you pull the units sideburns down and apply the got to be um gel to that and it's going to adhere and it's going to stick honey and it's going to stay because when i say i was like yes I was like, yes, like I done took pictures in this. I done waved it around. I done did a little dance in this. <laughs> like your girl is happy. Your girl is real happy. So this is just another option on how to put this wig on without having to glue it down. Make sure you get your combs in place. Make sure your headband is secure, which is definitely a plus. 
and then you're good to go. Slap those baby hairs down because that's extra security as well, just in case you do not want to glue this unit down. So I hope that this was helpful and I appreciate you guys for watching. Make sure you stay tuned for my next video. Like, comment, rate, share, subscribe, honey, because we get it in with try-on holes, wig try-on holes, reviews, you name it, we do it. All right, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. But before I go, make sure you stay tuned for the rest of this video, okay, honey? Because right here, I'm showing you how long this unit is. It is literally like 37 inches, y'all. Like, this wig is bomb.com. Like, I ain't got no other words for it, period. Like, oh my goodness. But I'm going to let y'all watch the rest of this video. Bye.